in the final chapter of Three Houses, all three of the Fire Emblem Three Houses have been vanquished, leaving only the Church of Seros as an unrivaled regional power. Rhea reveals a secret of Byleth's birth, which is that she is the child of the latest in a long line of freakish biological experiments to recreate God. Since Rhea gave Geralt her blood, she was hoping that increasing the inbreeding coefficient would be the secret sauce for resurrecting Sothis. Suddenly, the conversation is interrupted by Rhea losing control of her power and transforming into the Immaculate One. At the same time, many high-ranking priests and knights have transformed into white beasts because they took the holy rite of drinking the Archbishop's bathwater. Sedith concludes that the only way to stop the rampage is to kill Rhea and every single high-ranking member of the Church of Seros in a brutal but morally justified purge. This is the final battle and it is quite difficult. The Immaculate One is the main boss and there are numerous white beasts and countless other enemies. You must defeat every white beast or otherwise the Immaculate One will heal to full HP every turn. There are also reinforcements coming from the south side, so you must head there to stop them first. The maddening difficulty enemies have by now truly become formidable, so I take additional defensive measures, equipping skills like Renewal, Vantage, and Alert Stance Plus to bolster my survivability. I go south to clear the reinforcements and then move north to take out the remaining white beasts. After doing so, I use a perfect strategy of attacking Rhea from outside her attack range using the Viscam to avoid damage because the Immaculate One attacks exclusively using Gambits and cannot be counterattacked on enemy phase. But I only do 5 damage a hit and she still retaliates for noticeable amounts of damage. Fortunately, Renewal and the Goddess Ring give me nearly enough HP every turn to offset this. However, in Maddening Difficulty, Rhea has like 640 HP spread across 4 health bars. Her barrier also nullifies critical hits and reduces damage by 70%, while a special skill reduces it by a further 50%, meaning that you can only do 15% damage against her. With only one character, it is physically impossible to break her barrier to remove her damage reduction, and she will regenerate it every turn, so the only way to fight her is to simply keep attacking. I proceed to do so, and I hit the 99 turn limit and failed the map. I try again, going south and killing all the white beasts once more. Doing 10 damage a turn, it will take around 64 turns to kill Rhea, plus turns spent to heal damage, and the possible instances of the boss activating Miracle. I realize I won't have enough turns this time around either, so I look into my convoy and start slashing Rhea with a Thunderbrand, which is a brave weapon to do 24 damage a turn. The Thunderbrand runs out of uses, but I have just enough leeway to finish Rhea off in the most degenerate way possible, which is attacking Rhea from 9 range until she finally dies, which she does. This takes a total of 95 turns. In the following cutscene, Rhea untransforms and dies. If only we escorted her and completed the Fulham family circle, we could have saved her. But alas, it was not to be.